Hello everyone, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Boulder's Gate 3. Last episode, we went back to camp and did some talking to people. Including Will, who it turned out, uh, well, his patron has been revealed to be a devil who proceeded to turn him into a devil. Because he didn't kill Carlac. Slight loophole in the way the, uh... His pact was worded, but yeah, he's now a devil, I guess, somehow. So, that happened. Now, we're not done here yet. Well, I guess we kind of are. Huh, interesting that there's actually a way to jump around there if we wanted. But anyway, now we need to go and help out with the Durgar. So, let's leave the camp and go see what we can do for the Durgar. So, I think we can, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and take the road down. And the Sovereign Glut is going to be helping us out with this. Decrepit village. This is the guy we need to speak to. You got a bloody rot for for company? Must have let it get in your head. My axe will fix that in no time. Well, here goes the fighting. Ooh, you've got a good shot there. Nice shot. Ow. Not too keen on that. Oh, unanimate dead. Oh, that's wonderful. Can you please do something about this guy? Thank you. That was actually very effective. Okay, we've got all of those to deal with. You've at least dealt with one of them. Novice Garmore is a bit far away. Release spores at a corpse to animate it as a spore servant under your command. Only we could find a corpse that we could animate. Oh, wait, there was actually one. Okay, there's some damage to that. Okay, let's uh, shoot at this thing. Shoot at this guy. Okay, there's some nice damage and no longer silenced, which is actually quite good. Keep guessing. And invisible. I'm not keen on that. Okay, Firebolt. Can you get close enough to shove him? You can. Uh, you may have been able to, but apparently not. Damn that guy for getting away. Okay, 
There, that's at least something. Have to keep going. Critical miss, but shove him off. He succeeded that. Ow, hi there. Multi-attack is interesting. Is there... Uh, I don't have anyone I can animate. Only multi-attack on prone targets. And a critical miss. Of course it was. Ow! That was painful. Okay, I think we went around the about this wrong. You have advantage on that. Okay, no longer invisible. Don't you have... You do have fireball, but it's a little... Uh, you can't really do that right now. And shove him off. That did not work how I'd hoped. God damn it. My luck again. Not enough movement, but you can get up to him. May the gods take you first. Need to find a way forward. Ow! No! That is not what I wanted to happen. And that one's enlarged. Okay, this uh, this fight is very much not going how I wanted it to. Okay, I need to reload. So I was able to bring that back. That should help out a bit. Now. Let me drop a save so that we can do this from here. Okay, this is likely going to be difficult, but we'll see what we can do. All right, and the fight begins, and of course he's going first and animates all the dead. Okay, we might be able to kill him. Good, and you. Good, that actually works out. Now we have the Silence Aura. Not exactly the best, but we should be able to do something about it. You, for example. Think you can take me on. Silence is gone. And you are now dead. Still gotta deal with all these zombies. Let's see, can you Scorching Ray him to death? You can hit him a lot. Not as much damage as I would have liked, but it is an amount. You are gonna have to dash. There we go, you are now distracting him. Now we got the... Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Pull our master. That's a good amount of damage. Not quite enough, but a good amount. Hey, thanks for the uh, the added hit. 
And they're going for the dead Durgar, but that's fine because it's distracting him. Thank you for saving from the blindness. You can... Not enough movement. Okay, you can shoot that guy. That'll do. What about you? No, I didn't want you to loot. You can shoot him. That was a good shot. Okay, you. You can try and deal with him. Go ahead with one of these. And he's still alive, surprisingly. Barely. Okay, I can't reach him. Alright, looks like I just gotta kill a bunch of them. Interesting that it's still alive. I don't know how, but somehow it is. Can you raise another one? There we go, we got another one on. Not keen on the blindness, and he's trying to run. Okay, that one's dealt with. This is good. Can you shoot him? Path is interrupted. And you can't get to him, I don't think. Fine, then. That was actually quite good. Still got one more, who's still invisible. that one best be on my way ow send out the reanimated corpse to do something that one's down and you can also come down Can't quite reach. Blood in the air. Okay, you can at least charge around this way. There you are! Found you! Ow! That was less than pleasant. Okay, can I reach him? I actually can. Okay, here's my plan. Smack. Smack. Now get over to here. 
and we'll hit him with a polearm clout, which should kill him. There we go. Okay, you can't quite reach. Or maybe you can. Try shoving as well. Interesting that you can't shove. Okay, you can fire at him. Let's turn someone inside out. You are gonna need to dash. Let's go. Oh, you're a rager. Don't worry, we can finish you off. How did you miss that? No time for mercy. Time to press ahead. All right, finish him. And there we go. Welcome, Glut. The grotto may sustain but one sovereign. In the age of Glut, there may be no sport. Um. Eliminate the other sovereign. You'd turn on Spa, who gave you shelter. A fate it has earned. My circle long suffered while the Dwega flourished. I sang to Spore for help, yet it cowered in the grotto and let my people be slaughtered. Choose, smooth mind. Help me grow a mighty circle and reap the reward. Or protect the precious poltroon as it waits for the circle of glut to devour it whole. Yeah, um, I don't think, uh, I'll have no part of this. It is my right. It is my right. Its delicate harmonies turn to scrapes and scratches. Your corpse will birth my circle. I'm sorry about this, Glut, but, uh... Oh, you are actually quite strong at the moment. Okay, there's a load of damage there. More damage. And some more. Okay, he's still alive for now. Ow! Well, thank you. So much for circle glut. Okay, everyone get out of there. Giant mushroom. Can we leave? Thank you. Okay, that was a little painful. Gek Cole has a bunch of things. Ooh, an exterminator's axe, a great axe. 
Deals an additional 1 to 6 fire damage to plants, insects, or small creatures. Well, we can give that to one of our guys. And we also got the Dorgar Antidote. There's Holvik. And Lurgan is still kind of just there. Also, I am carrying too much weight again. It happens more than it should. Because everything is way too heavy. Yeah, we'll leave it be dead. Okay, we have to sell all of this stuff. The exterminator's axe will go to some... You know what? Send it to camp for now. These boots of speed. Is there anyone who doesn't have boots? You don't have boots. Eh, we'll, we'll give them to someone else. Actually, what boots do you have? You have boots of striding. You have spider step boots. Honestly, we can go without that. Go with the boots of speed, and we'll give the spider step boots to you. Okay, that antidote isn't the most important. Okay, we are going to give you that. And that, and those, and that. That heavy crossbow weighs that much. Jeez. Don't waste a step. Okay. Over here. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, extract all the ingredients. We go from 289 to 287. That didn't actually save us very much. So we have these various potions and coatings. We've got a bunch of elixirs for what they matter. I can make... Potion of Greater Healing, interesting. Lee? I guess we can make a couple of these. Let's get you on. are going to heal yourself. Take you. And you know what? Uh, do a tier 3, ma not mass healing word. A tier 3 prayer of healing. Probably a little overkill, but it's done. Now then. We shall go report in that we have accomplished our task. Okay, up to here. Sovereign Spa. It greets you with a harrowing elegy, cheerless as the new moon. The Dorgar are slain, the rod has been purged. The music shifts, still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear a new harmony? Serenity. I name you. Peace, Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. How nice. Freely you have given to us. Freely you may take. Thank you. The guardian gate is open. Go and claim your reward. And I know where it is. That'll be useful. But before this... I have another boon to ask of you. 
You have cut out the Dwergar Blight, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Mykonid dead. Hmm. Near. This one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head. And I will know my circle is safe. We will certainly do what we can. Consider it done. I will bring Nair's head to you. Ooh. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death and return. Hey, I'm inspired. Earn a title for your deeds. Okay, then. Uh, what was this? Complete Elistray's Ritual of Sorrow and obtain her Blessed Blade. Resurrect anyone in your party. Okay. That is not all, Spa. Peace, Bringer. Be at home. I have slain the creature called Glut. It was scheming to slaughter your circle. You are one with Spore. Your throat tightens, then relaxes. The air is serene, your mind untroubled. The songs we sing now carry your spirit. I first named you Peace Bringer. I now name you Kin Spirit. Well, okay then. All right, let's go uh, pick up the loot we get from this, which is right over here. So there's loot in here. What do we get? Please let us in. Let's see. Okay, blue cat mushroom. Pale corpse containing... Wow, that's a lot. Kale giant finger. Icy metal. That's the last thing of this staff that we need. And flump mating rituals. I'm sorry, what? The cover proudly announces this book to be Flump Mating Rituals. Examine the book closely. Bliss spores. Ooh. Nice. And it's until the next long rest. That's beautiful. The scrutiny proves too much. The lurid text melts away before your eyes. An illusion. Ha! Huh. What remains are simple instructions written in a spare hand. The secret to forging adamantine. Ooh. That's useful. The pages, apparently copied from a master tome, describe the construction and use of a grand forge in the Underdark. Among the Sharans dwelled the gnome Silu Vyali, whose talents for wizardry were known from Candlekeep to Sorcerer. Under his tutelage, the Sharans built a great forge which could heat mithril with such vigor as to turn it to adamantine. With this astonishing metal, they could mold the finest blades in armor. Yet the jewel of Yali's eye was not the forge itself, but the protector he conjured from the magma to guard it, a construct said to be so mighty that no blade could fell it and no spell could pierce it. Instructions for operating the Great Forge are listed underneath. Ingredients, raw mithril ore and a proper mold. Place the ore and mold into their respective chambers. Pull the lever to lower the hammer and prepare the ore for smelting. Open the valve to allow lava into the crucible and drop the hammer again to forge the product. Ah, the forge again. Yes. We know everything by how it smells. Shadow of Menzobar Menzobaranzan. Scroll, scroll. Some mushrooms. And a backpack. With, I suppose, a few things. Don't need the don't need the rotten things. Okay, what is this Menzo Baranzan? Shrouded in shadow. Ooh. You can become invisible. 
It refreshes every short rest. You know what? I think you can have this. Instead of the Helmet of Autonomy, which is a very useful item. Proficiency and Wisdom. I mean, I like the Haste Helm. And what do you have? You've just got Constitution saving throws. Okay. You know what? You can hold on to that. You can have this helm. And this one can go for you. And the rest of these scrolls can go to you. Okay. And I am going to need to end this episode here. Because it has gone on quite long enough. Yes, learn all the spells you can. I think that's all of the spells that you can learn. Most of the rest you already know, so we're good. Alright, and with that, I am going to end this episode here. Next episode, well, first we're going to sell some of this loot that we happen to have in order to get rid of it, but I also need to do something about these uh, icy items. And then we're going to take a look and see if we can make our way not to the forge, but this way, which may lead to the arcane tower. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly. That is Ceres, Astarian, Shadowheart, and Gale. That's the wrong order. This has been a Let's Play of Boulder's Gate 3, and I shall see you all next time.